Meet me. All right, welcome back, boys. I promised I would showcase this Arunka thing, so that's what today is about. I did record a summoning video of it, but I got pretty lucky I summoned her. That video is like three minutes long, so I'll just show a few clips of it here. And, uh, you know, no one was going to watch that anyway, so we can skip that summoning session. But um, with that said, I had to wait because um, I had Grace of Growth on something else, but I finally was able to Grace of Growth this hero. All I did was strip my Huayang and steal all of Huayang's gear and put it on to um, Arunka. And uh, if I could ever find her again. So this is my Huayang's, which is pretty much my account's best attack gear. And uh, yeah, we're going to test her out. So um, I don't really know. I don't really think I need this hero in my kit, but everyone's saying this is just a grass Huayang. Let's find out if that's true. But it looks like it's supposed to counter teams with barriers. So we'll hit stuff without barriers, we'll hit stuff with barriers, and we'll find out if she could do her job. And uh, ultimately, I'll um, you get to decide if you want to pull for her or not, because she's still on the banner. So anyways, let's get right into the arena. Alright, so I want Arunka to be the sole DPS for our first play test. And I brought Conquer Lilies because I want to really juice her up with attack buff and vigor. Now, I actually don't really need um, Amelia because Arunka self-attack buffs, which is really nice on her S3. But uh, we'll do it anyway. Oh, Adelabet's going to cut, isn't she? Hmm. Well, let's try to push her back. Okay, so she does cut, but not enough. Boom. Okay, we resisted. Nice. Okay. And, uh, what should we kill? Should we kill... Actually, no. It does more damage if they have a barrier. Oh. See, this is why I don't really like RTing on blue stacks anymore. This happens all the time, so my screen kind of froze for a second here. But, um, if we read this, it extincts and also penetrates the target's defense by 70%, and when target is granted a barrier, increases damage dealt. Um, now, unlike Huayang, it doesn't have any, like, HP differential requirement or anything. I want to not hit a Ravi yet, because I feel like if it's proof, it's not a good representation of her damage. So, let's one-shot this Conquer Lilius, because, um, well, if the game ever lets me. Uh, because this is a good showcase of her maximum damage potential, because we have Vigor, Attack Buff, and Barrier Condition. So, let's rip into this Conquer Lilies and see what this hero can do. Alright. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, Conquer Lilies isn't a super tanky hero, and literally we had every condition. We had attack buff, vigor, and you normally you can't rely on having vigor, right? And she's still didn't die. Huh. So her damage doesn't seem too great, to be honest. I wonder how much that thing hits for if they don't even have, um, oh god. And she's not particularly tanky. Okay, well, seven, 7400 S1. That's not terrible, but... Ugh. Okay, maybe we want to kill this Blyan first, because the Iravi will never attack Arunka. Um, unfortunately, we can't get souls, because I want Soul Burn to get Arunka's um, extra attack, her expose. 50% uh, chance. And it heals her. Oh, well, here we go. So you get 5k help. So healed her for 2200, which isn't terrible. Uh, is it, like, amazing? No. Her damage actually seems like... Ooh. I'm trying to be nice about it, but it's just really shitty. <laughs> I don't really know how else to put it. It's terrible. It's pretty terrible. Um... Okay, I mean, we're bleeding people, that's nice, I guess. 
So we got to bring Conquer Lilius back here. I would really like this stupid Aravi to hit my Ruel because she's on idle sheer and stop slamming my Conquer Lilius. There we go. We brought Arunka, but she could never proc her thing on her turn. Um, let's push Arunka even more. And if we kill the stupid blind, we could actually get souls for the exposed thing. Okay, so we killed her. Uh, Conquer Lilius is dead again. This might not be a bad thing though, because both of them are going to be on Ruel now. Uh, I think we just have to kill... Alright, let's see how much this hits an Aravi for actually. Uh, should we just kill the Delibet? So attack buff, they don't have a barrier, so without that, we'll just hit the Aravis just to so see what she could do. No barrier condition, but we do have attack buff, let's see, and no proof, no proof. Oh god. Ew. Uh. Ew. Just, ew. But what are you supposed to do with this hero? Like, she's not squishy. She has no survivability outside of an RNG extra attack that can heal her for a tiny amount of HP. So you don't have to, like, I guess put her on lifesteal set, but... I mean, let's soul burn this. Um, okay, so 2,500. 3,800. So 9k total. I mean, it's not terrible, but... Does it justify using this? Ooh. Yuck. That's really... I think so far, that's my conclusion for this here. I don't really know what else to say other than just... Yuck. Ew. Um... I mean... Do, do we need to look at her kit again? Does, does she have something else that's really... I guess, like, the fact that she could cut if they have a barrier, like, against FCC, she's going to be cutting a lot, right? And especially in the beginning. Ugh. Timeless Anchor Counter, Ravi. Alright, well, we have the big money finish here. Meow! Oh god, ew. Uh, Alright, let's try one more. Alright, the only reason I picked this team is because they have a whole bunch of water units and uh, yeah, Runka is grass, so hopefully she can do some heavy work against them, like at least one shot this Rem, I guess. Why is this stupid Pyrrha so slow? It's actually kind of awkward now. Because um, they don't have barrier. Okay, well, it's fine. So Pira goes, can't strip. Okay. Wait, did Pira just take damage from something? Does Arunka have some kind of like counter mechanic? Oh no, I think that was just like a bleed or something, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's try to kill. We have Vigor and Attack buff now. Let's take out this Rem. Water unit. Uh, they have Escort, though. Shoot, I forgot about that. 11k? I guess it would have killed if he didn't have Escort, right? Uh, this guy's Pura is so bad that it <laughs> threw my comp off. We gotta have DJB wipe that Pira out. Okay, so let's. Oh, wait, we could soul burn this. Let's soul burn it. Cat Claw. And we expose into Rimuru for 6,400. I mean, I guess that's not super atrocious. So Pira's dead deado. We can cleanse and push everything up. Um, 
Alright, let's kill Rima. Oh, we proc the extra thing. Okay, I mean... She's doing stuff. 8500 against Rimuru. I mean, granted, it's like a squishier Rimuru, and it's a DPS Rimuru. But, uh, something. I feel like I'm gonna get soloed by this shoe. <laughs> Good god. Well, there's one down. Um, come on, Arunka, bring Arunka, okay? Countered my Arunka. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What is this hero? This is dreadful. Uh, we, we could bring her back though. That's why I brought Ruel for this showcase. Like, I would never use Ruel on arena offense usually. I just did it because uh, it's an Arunka showcase, so I can't have her die, right? Like she just did to a freaking shoe. Okay. Soul burn. Blah, blam. It gets countered again. Thank God we have invincibility. So 2700 or 8800. I mean, it's not horrendous, it's just not good. Okay, keep pushing up my Arunka. Alright. Cat Claw Finisher. Meow. Alright, I think we've seen enough. Let's summarize. Alright guys, so now that we've seen this uh, Cat Lady in action, what are my thoughts? Is she a must pull? 100%. She is absolutely a must pull because she's so fucking terrible that she's going to become super buffed in the near future. I, I guarantee you. she's going to get some crazy exclusive equipment or they're going to change her skills. They're going to have one of those buff announcements where they say, oh, it appears that Arunka underperformed because actually she's dog shit. So I fully expect this hero to get way better because she's so terrible that... Uh, I don't really know what she's supposed to do. She's not particularly good against water units. Um, her damage was awful, but I was, I thought like, kind of like Opsic. Opsic, if they don't have a barrier, like she's okay, but like really you would just take something else. I thought she was gonna kind of going to be like that. Like I really thought this barrier condition would really pump up her damage so that, you know, there's a lot of barriers in the game now. So it made sense to me that they would make a hero that if they, had a barrier it would really punish them but i used like an unrealistic situation too like my runka had pretty decent attack um vigor attack buff. and granted she'll always have attack buff because of her s3 but vigor isn't something you could always rely on see lilius is very common pre-ban and i still couldn't even kill a conquer lilius against something like an aravi i'm hitting it for like 7k and on top of that she has zero survivability unless you consider this piddly little lifesteal thing survivability which i don't so as far as i'm concerned she's not really good at freaking anything right now um i i, I don't really know i i would still take nerfed huayang over this any day because huayang has survivability and if there is a hero of hp differential huayang still dunks high hp units like i don't actually know what this hero kills so that's my summary of arunka uh, make sure you get her because she's so bad that she's bound to become good one day. But uh, if you're just thinking about the moment, yeah, she... I don't know, maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I just showcased her wrong. Maybe I built her wrong. If I did, let me know. But, you know, we're, she seems pretty self-explanatory. You just build her with attack like every other hero that can't crit. And, uh, you know, flank gear, I can't really get her much more attack than this. And with these stats... She doesn't really seem to do anything at all, and even if I could pump her up to like 7k attack, I don't think it'd make that much of a difference to be honest. So did I build her wrong? Did I get anything confused? Or is this hero really just complete garbage? I don't know, you guys tell me, but as of right now I'm removing this, let's do that together right now, I'm removing that Grace of Growth thing immediately. Um, I have zero faith in this hero and... Yeah, her gear. So this is Huayang's gear. It's going back to Huayang. So, uh, all right. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, peace out, boys.